Why don't you just marry a fucking man? We're gonna talk about comparison, expectations, and fiction getting together after you've already divorced. I'm Cass. And I'm Catherine. And I don't know where it's gonna go. The little things that destroy you. If I want him to be my king, if I want him to save me from the dragon, I need to be the woman that he is going to come and do whatever you do with swords. <laughs> We're moral marriage. Let's flip divorce statistics with the new marriage. Welcome to the Moral Marriage Podcast, guys, where we give it to you real, raw, uncensored, and anointed. anointed. Guys, I've got a doozy for you today. Well, Ooh, might, a doozy. It might be a fun one. I called it, why don't you just marry a fucking man? Hey, did you get your beard trimmed today? No, I have an appointment tomorrow. Oh, it looks can. good. Thank you. I conditioned and moisturized. Oh, it looks good. Uh, why don't you just marry a man? Thank you, baby. Here's the thing. This is not obviously the men in my program. Okay, they're learning to be masculine, they're learning to be men, they're learning to understand what it means to, to falsify the distorted reality, the bad examples. But the amount of men who comment on my social media, all upset, referencing for starters, the mood, the emotions, the, the control that's lacking in a woman with her feelings. Why don't you? Switch teams, women. Isn't oh my I said, goodness? Could be could be a fun a oh fun one. You guys have to understand, and I had to learn this the hard way. Okay, the safer you got, the safer Catherine got you guys. The more outbursts, floods of tears. Um, it was safer because he wasn't angry at me if I cried, yes. or. If I got frustrated with something, I could actually be frustrated and I didn't have to bottle it up. It's nice if you get frustrated to show frustration or show sadness or mm -hmm. whatever emotion you want to show. It's It feels nice. It's freeing to be able to be yourself. I think that's wonderful. You know, I was talking to a man on a call today. He just joined a program and he, he at least I'm pretty sure he did, and he said something, you know, it's crazy. Like... She just gets so angry and I got rid of anger a year ago and the very first words out of my mouth were, dude, that's actually great. You should embrace that. That means she's feeling better with you, safer with you and wants to give you more. Is it necessarily what you want? Well, it's hard, but her emotions, your emotions, we get through it. We have a emotional connection and I just can't understand. Now, I think we all know why. Okay. Women started to rise up and take their shit back, their power, okay? Cool. Women deserve that. Men stomped women for a long time. And then it became this whole thing where men are rising up because now we're really confused. First, our daddies told us, stop crying. My dad called me Kathy all the time, Douglas, prick. And, you know, I didn't even know what I was feeling, okay? So we get this whole distorted, like, boys don't cry, all this shit. And I get it, it's confusing. But first and foremost, before we go through what you're allowed to feel as a man and what you're not allowed to feel as a man, women are supposed to feel. We all are. We all are. But I mean, get it out. The rock, the shoreline, the lighthouse, the shoulder to cry It doesn't on. mean that you can justify, you know, inappropriate behaviors when you have a display of emotions. That's not so, what I'm talking about. So that, yeah, yeah, don't hear what he's not saying. Yeah. He's not saying that you get to be abusive in your emotions, yes. but you do get to show and express your emotions. You okay. shouldn't have to bottle them up out of fear of how your husband's going to react to you. That's right. Now, I want to just switch the mode of this for a second, okay? There is not one man who gets on a call who doesn't want to move his marriage forward. And typically, guys, it's the worst of the worst. If you're calling and you just roommate situation, awesome, thank you. It'd be a nice break because it's super easy, okay? But like the amount of men that call, anyways, it doesn't matter. Every single one of them, when asked the question, do you think your wife runs the household, like kind of looks down on you, like maybe she feels like she's your mom? And um, the answer is always yes. The next question is, do you think a man should lead? The answer is always yes. So there is a time and place for your feelings, like Catherine said. But right now, if your wife doesn't respect you and she's looking down on you because you just, just realized she thinks you're another child in the home. Yesterday, somebody said, yeah, she's, he's like the sixth child in my home. Nobody wants that, okay? So there's a time and place for your feelings. But right now, you've changed everything in your home to where it doesn't matter because every time you've let your feelings out, can't handle your wife's big emotions, big man, I guess, then, and I was the guy, don't get me wrong, okay? But, in fact, I was the worst, but, <laughs> but 
you can't justify your anger and your uh, your your pouty, your frustration, choking on responsibilities. You know, this other guy I talked to on the phone knows the same one from today. And he was like, no, I'm not emotionally abusive. I'm like, you just told me a year ago, you finally stopped yelling after 10 years. That's emotional abuse. I know it. I get it. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. But now you know you're abusive. And that goes for the women too, like Catherine said. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know where I want to go with this, but I, just a quick question. Okay. Quick question. Right. Are you prepared to say that maybe women should just marry women? Am I prepared? No, I'm not. No, I didn't think so. That's why I didn't title it. Maybe just marry the opposite sex. It's the same and sex. And I'm being, sorry, the same sex. And I'm being a little bit fun here, guys, because we just have to understand what it is that we want. Just own it. You don't know what you're doing when you're communicating your needs or your feelings. We've been abusive or we've been neglectful. Okay. There's lots of degrees in between. Okay. But if you're going to come on in on my social media, if you're going to go bitch and complain with your friends, maybe understand what masculine and feminine means in general. Okay. You know, we're not supposed to be the same. No, we're different. Okay. And I'm going to tell you something right now. It's not like you don't let me feel, you know, she'll even recognize, babe, everything good. If I'm thinking, or you do it a little bit different. You're like, Hey, what you thinking about? Mm. You know, um, but because he wears it on his face. Yeah. It's like a whole thing, but, <laughs> but typically guys, what'll happen is you give your wife what she needs with this in this area. Okay. That's understanding, validating, uh, empathizing, being compassionate. Patient is a big one. That Even I just start on. with not invalidating. That's right. So you might not know how to validate or do any of the things that Cass is saying, but if you can just learn to not invalidate, that's a really good first step. Mm -hmm. and, and then, yeah, think about it like this. You're not trying to fix it when she has a feeling, right? Instead of being upset that, you know, your needs aren't met and I should be able to feel too. I'm frustrated because my wife doesn't want me. Understand your wife wants you more when you are there for her with what she needs, which is the emotional connection. She needs to get her feelings out. She needs to know that she can count on you through that. That's a true protector. Oh, I didn't hit her. I'm not as abusive as you, Cass. So, you know, she's safe. No, she's not. Because she doesn't know if you love her or you hate her or even if you like her. And she doesn't know that you care about anything but your own needs. That's why you're basically telling her to shut up every time. So you have this conversation so you can get what you want. Well, then you're not going to get what you want. But I will tell you this. If you switched from your wife to a man, he's going to want more sex. He's going to have his own feelings like you. They're probably going to align a lot differently. And I can go on and on and on. You see how stupid that sounds? <laughs> oh my gosh. I got nothing else. Good? Yeah. See you next time. Bye.